Hey, what's up guys? This is the dog Lunar Hound. And holy crap, what is this? Oh wait, it's Black Ops. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's that's fine. No, no. That's okay. No big deal, it's just Black Ops. And yes, I am playing I'm using theater mode, which is great. And not so great because as you can see from that kill right there, and you'll see from very many, many kills, is that excuse me, um, that I lag really, really bad, because I have a 2.5 on a good day megabits uh, download speed, megabit per second download speed, and um, a point, like, I think the best I've ever gotten was like a point four upload speed. So, yeah, and lag will become very apparent in this uh, video. But, uh, let's talk about the gameplay a little bit. I'm using the, uh, AK-74 use of machine gun, um, silencer, uh, tiger, um, camo, uh, playing on, playing Domination on WMD, and this is actually the first map, uh, uh, game I've played on this map. Um, my killstreak reward setup is, um, spy plane. Uh, counter spy plane and napalm strike. Three, four, five. Man, I gotta get back in the old grind of doing a Call of Duty commentary. I haven't done one in such a long time, it feels like. And so, uh, I'm just kind of rushing a little bit. Uh, my perks are lightweight, sleight of hand, no, no, sorry, not lightweight, ghost, sleight of hand, and marathon. Um, so this is a really great class for, um, for, uh, what's it called, rushing, not necessarily rushing, but really just staying, getting a lot of kills, and, you know, staying very well hidden. Um, my secondary, as you see here, is a CZ-75, which I urge everyone to get, um, as soon as possible. Um, as soon as you get the Python, buy it, and then buy the CZ-75, because one, the CZ-75 can be uh, full auto. Uh, you, I will, I'll put, uh, I'll review. Actually, I'll probably eventually. I'm going to review all of the. Um, I'll probably review all the pistols in one video. Um, but anyway, um, the CC75 has can have a full auto attachment, which is great. Um, but it only has a 12 round clip. So um, Warlord Pro, I believe, gives you both. Uh, can can give you a uh, a a two attachment secondary I'm not sure um, but either if you can that would be great if not oh well but still this, uh, the CZ75 can be uh, full auto but you do sacrifice 10 damage um, so with that uh, uh, with that being said even though you do sacrifice the 10 damage and instead of being from 40 to 20 it's 30 to 20 in full auto um, with the uh, without being full auto, it still has uh, a little bit more range than the um, than the other pis uh, pistols besides the uh, Python. And as you can see, um, I've fast forwarded I fast forwarded a lot of this stuff using theater mode. But with the theater mode, um, there's one complaint that I have about it is that um, when you're fast forwarding, if you go to press uh, act X, which would be play on the uh, PS3 uh, on Xbox, that'd be A. But if you press um, if you press the play button before you're done um, before you're done um, fast forwarding, you will stop instead of playing. So you have to time like to make it really to make it look smooth. You have to time the fast forwarding and the uh, play. And fast forward, fast forwarding, and playing again, uh, really well. So um, sometimes that can be a little bit difficult, and other times it's, uh, you know, you get it spot on and you get a good looking transition. So, and right here, I catch these guys, two guys just standing there. I fired extra because I thought one of them had dropped in the last stand, like that guy. No, I'm sorry, Treyarch, it's not second chance. We will always know it as last stand, or as you know. Uh, Thunder likes to call it Noob Stand, which I I love that name. That's just so creative, really funny as hell. Um, and um, I haven't really been talking about the gameplay much, so let's get into that. Um, 
AK-74U, great submachine gun. Uh, really, uh, really, it doesn't need the grip um, unless you're firing really long distance. But then you don't want to fire long distance because it uh, mo because uh, they have tweaked the submachine guns since uh, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, COD 4 days, and they are pretty weak at distance. Um, so, and they have enough recoil to be to um, you know add on to that that less damage. So there's a good amount of recoil. So <clears throat> at da at range, you're going to want to use you know an, an assault rifle or an LMG. Um, I would suggest an assault rifle because the assault rifles are just so good. Um, and but at close range, the uh, really there you can have the grip attachment for the AK-74U. But uh, since I picked up this, uh, since I took that off and put on the suppressor. Oh, thanks for the double kill, guys. Uh, since I put on the <laughs> suppressor uh, and took off the uh, grip, this was the first game that I did that with. Um, actually, it does not have that much recoil even without the grip, so it really doesn't need the grip. So, um, it's a really great gun, and as you can see, and you've probably noticed, uh, a lot of my kills uh, that I've gotten have involved a quite a bit of lag. Uh, like this one right here. Oh, actually, no, that one wasn't that bad. This one was really bad, though. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. But there's there's quite a few kills that uh, you can you can tell the lag is very apparent. And um, I don't know. Maybe uh, it seems almost worse than Modern Warfare 2. But then again, in Modern Warfare 2 and World of War and all the other games. But then again, I haven't played those in a while since Black Ops. And, um, thank God for MP5K Rapid Fire right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so, this map, uh, I can't really tell you that much about it because, uh, this is my first game on it, and, uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed the map, and I wish I could have played it more before, more, um, so, uh, this really is a fun map, so, um, and I just randomly get a triple kill from people walking into the flames or of my napalm strike, or maybe an, a car exploded, or something. I don't know, just a random triple kill, like, a minute after I called in a napalm strike. And, uh, the game's got about one minute left, so, um, let me give you my, uh, you know, final first thoughts about this game. Um, Black Ops, I, I'm very glad there's no stopping power, and, of course, no juggernaut. Um, I'm kind of pissed off that they brought back Second Chance. At least it's not, you know, Final Stand, but still, um, and at least they made the Pro version the version that allows you to, um, revive people. That's okay, I guess. But, um, so yeah, I'd, get, I'd say it's a pretty solid game right now, but, uh, we haven't found anything that, that could be exploited just yet. So, uh, I'm gonna watch out for that. But, anyway, uh, guys, that's all I got to say about this. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys another time.